vaccine all day long. I want to vaccinate your mom. I want to stick get deep in your arm. Oh my, where are you? I want to vaccinate. Love that. Love that. It's, it, I was right. It is a troll. That's nice. That's nice though. Like that's nice that conservatives have run with this being real. Of course, obviously, because why wouldn't it be? Apparently, Jimmy Kimmel had a bit that all these libs are talking about. Um, or uh, the liberals were into it. I think Ben Shapiro apparently did a Jimmy Kimmel. Ben Shapiro did a react to it or something. August. So I want to see what this is. Anti-vax Barbie skit. He like reacted to it. I guess we'll see the skit itself first. Uh, instead of watching the Ben Shabibo reaction to it, but um, this is from like a day ago or two days ago, but like libs are f***ing all over it. So I want to see, I want to see if it's bad or not. It might be bad. It probably is. It, it probably is bad, but I want to see regardless. Uh, Anti-vax leader pushing drinking urine for COVID. Nope, that's not it. Anti-vax Barbie. Is this it? <laughs> There's a new doll in town and the fun is contagious. It's anti-vax Barbie. She's strong. She's independent. She doesn't trust science. Bill Gates is the antichrist. Vaccines have Satan's blood. <laughs> Barbie comes with a computer so she can do her own research. Says here Moderna turns your teeth Jewish. Take your Barbie everywhere. Shopping. I'm sorry, you can't come in here without a mask. I have a medical condition. <gasps> I'm no. recording this bitch, and you're going to jail. To the stables. Thank you for sharing your medicine, dancer. <laughs> and on the plane. Mm. <laughs> and the only mandate this Barbie cares about is Hi, with sorry. her proud boyfriend, Ken. Hi, Ken. Want to go throw eggs at nurses? Sorry, babe. Can't hear you. Alex Jones is talking about monoglobal antibodies. <laughs> Anti-vax Barbie, exclusively available in Florida and Kentucky. It's not even that bad. Like lip theory, monka lib. It, 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 like what? What is so triggering about this? Like it's whatever. It's like pretty basic. It's not even that bad. You know what I mean? It's not. I thought this was gonna be like actually, uh, like lip shit. You know what I mean? Like it, it is, cool. but it's like a regular mid above average uh, sketch. So that is the thing that uh, Ben Shapiro is upset about, I guess. So what is, uh, so what comes around goes around, right? Obviously seasons pass. At the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break at the top of every hour. And you can avoid those ads by subscribing for $5 or for free or by getting gifted a sub. Sometimes that ad break comes at like, you know, nine minutes before the top of the hour though. And you guys complain, but what goes around does come around. And what I mean by that is, obviously I'm going to run the ad break right now, but what I also mean by that is Ben Shapiro lived long enough to unironically become, and some may say that he was always this person, to unironically become the guy he despises. A person triggered by a comedy bit. Okay? A sketch, if you will. I thought these were the people that loved and appreciated comedy and that uh, they understood when something was a sketch. What's not a sketch is the top of the hour ad break coming right now. So like I said, if you want to no longer see those ads. If you want an uninterrupted broadcasting experience, all you need to do is subscribe. Here's the one minute ad break now. So I guess for Ben, you either live, uh, I mean, you either die uh, a, a, a pro comedy defender or you live long enough to become someone who critiques comedy and cries about it like a blue haired SJW. Except this time, the snowflake is crying about Jimmy Kimmel bits. So obviously, you know, that's entirely different. This is, you don't get it, Hassan. This is actually honorable. This is actually correct for him to be upset about this. About how the left really believes in their own- Dude, I don't care about your real video that was completely out of context, okay? I don't care. I, I, I got it. I, I, I am not interested in like, you know, figuring out more about this Dallas ad thing. When the dude himself is like a clearly troll, who cares? under moral superiority. I mean, they really believe it. It's, it's really funny to watch their attitude towards vaccines because most of last year, the idea from the left was that any vaccine developed under Trump was unreliable. And then for years before that, in places like California, the idea was that woo-woo crystals were going to save you from things like measles, mumps, and rubella. Now- Yeah, and we made fun of those people. Like, Seven everyone did, and you should. Crystal mommies have always been at the butt of the joke, okay? That doesn't make them correct. If anything, that makes them incorrect, and you should make fun of them. 
Now, however, I gotta pee. I'll Trump be back again. Office. Why? I have to pee Democrats a lot today. I've been drinking a lot of water and drinking a lot of diuretics. Holy shit, I'm peeing a lot. From things like measles, mumps, and rubella. Now, however, Trump is out of office, and the Democrats say the vaccines are good, so vaccines are good. Not only that, if you are somebody who did not take the vaccine, it must be that you are essentially a That is the case that Jimmy Kimmel was making on his show last night. His team produced an, a, a fake commercial from Mattel, anti-vax Barbie. And, of course, it turns out that anti-vax Barbie does not have natural immunity or any serious questions about transmissibility, it turns out that anti-vax Barbie is just a Nazi because this is what people on the left think of their political opponents. You know, there's so much stuff to sell to these anti-vaxxers. And the folks at Mattel are no dummies. They made a mint over Christmas with a twist on what pro is probably America's all-time favorite doll. <laughs> there's a new doll in town, and the fun is contagious. It's anti-vax Barbie. She's strong. She's independent. She doesn't trust science. Bill Gates is the Antichrist. Vaccines have Satan's blood. <laughs> Barbie comes with a computer so she can do her own research. Says here Moderna turns your teeth Jewish. Take your Barbies everywhere. Shopping. I'm sorry, you can't come in here without a mask. I have a medical condition. <gasps> oh, 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 I'm not okay. going Bro, he's doing React or Andal. Dude, also, you gotta f admit. You gotta, re you gotta admit, React Randall, I mean, this is next level. He has, like, a camera placed behind him. He's got, like, a big screen in front of him. You know what I mean? That, that way you can... I mean, he's so much better at, uh, at being a React Lord than me. Holy shit. At Hussein, I mean, Pause there for a second. Did it best. So, again, the, the entire idea here is that, I mean every single objection here is crazy, right? If, if you said I have natural immunity, Barbie, that, that obviously wouldn't have the same effect. So the idea here from Jimmy Kimmel is that every- Okay, I'm saying it, fuck it. If you watch this unironically, if you watch Ben Shapiro unironically and, and you watch him react to stuff when he is literally the least funny, least insightful, most like annoying literalist, uh, mm, actually Andy on the planet, you are so much worse than any- uh, person that generic like it consumes generic snl and jimmy kimmel content you are so bad you are like you will never know laughter or joy oh my f lord who is the market for this would face tea time like who could be the market for ben shapiro reacts dude like i need to understand which one of your friends at school watches oh. ben shabibo unironically for not just like destroys libtards compilations, but actually watches him like, you know, piece by piece, absolutely take apart a Jimmy Kimmel sketch. Go down like, it's got it. I mean, months. obviously me, but like I'm watching it to make fun of Ben Shapiro. That's my fun. But like, you have to be the biggest, like you have to be the biggest loser, dude. Like how motivated are you to listen to someone that you believe agrees with your worldview that you are watching mother Ben Shabibo. At least with me, I got even conservatives in here because, like, there is some degree of entertainment that I provide. Okay, obviously I have hate watchers too. But like, how many times have you seen motherfuckers be like, you know, I I don't really like your point of view. I'm a liberal. I'm a neoliberal. I'm a conservative, but I do enjoy uh, your takes. It's still entertaining. Ben Shapiro does not have that. Like Ben Shapiro just straight up does not even offer that in any meaningful capacity. So it's just like baby. boring. I don't know how else to describe it other than he is incredibly boring. He runs ads on your channel, by the way. So this Crowder, good for them, dude. Give me some money. My wife left me. It's wonderful, though. Funniest. Can you let me know when you game? Thanks. It's like watching accidents. You don't want to. No, I know why we are watching Ben Shabibo. I just don't understand how anyone is like, like, is there nothing that's out there that could be perceived as more entertaining? Like. There's nothing for you out there, really, that you have to, you have to, you know, you have to hurt yourself this way. Every single person who has not taken a vaccine believes that the, that Bill Gates is putting microchips in the vaccine or that it turns your quote unquote teeth Jewish because you're actually a secret. Also, I'm noticing that in this little play acted skit in which the, the anti-masker walks into a store and is asked to put on the mask. It is the anti-masker who goes crazy. Uh, most of the videos I've seen are kind of the opposite. Most of the videos that what? I have seen. No, totally, dude. Totally. The people who watch this video and go, this is actually pretty funny. I really appreciate this. I really enjoy this. To those people I ask, who hurt you? What happened? 
what happened in your life where this is the this is it this is actually like entertainment for you like th th these are the people that got thrown into lockers these are the people that are watching on their iPhones in lockers with their underwear pulled all the way up to their heads in the most comical capacity like a 90s high school uh comedy like that's the number one podcast for people who are watching directly from the locker that they were shoved into okay it is bananas it's crazy oh my god it's like it does not make any sense are people who walk into a store not wearing a mask and a person starts screaming at them and yelling at them that's typically what i have seen it's also what I've experienced. I mean, I recently was on a flight from New Jersey to, to Florida. And on that flight, I was eating some popcorn. And the stewardess came by and she looks at me and she goes, you need to put up your mask between bites. I'm like, between bites? That's going to save us all. Between bites. You know, the, the people who are authoritarian here are generally not the people who are, who are against masking. Are you really making fun of bully teenagers? Feel good about yourself? 1,000%. Especially because, one, I was a bully teenager. Two. 90% of this community are bully teenagers. Three, being bullied does not excuse you into watching Ben Shapiro, okay? If you are bullied and then you become a Ben Shapiro fan, absolutely I'm going to make fun of you. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Also, what kind of bullying happens where they comically shove you into a locker still? Dumbass. Like now bullying is like doxing you and then doxing your family and then you know, clipping something off of your Snapchat and like the entire school makes fun of you or some shit, okay? The cyber terror that they unleash upon you. That's bullying now. They don't shove you into a locker. Like you're, you're trying to get upset about a thing that never existed. Most of the people who are authoritarian are the, the crazed pro-maskers. In any case, the propaganda continues. And again, the idea here is, is from Jimmy Kimmel, Captain Understanding and Empathy, that everyone who he opposes politically is in fact a disciple of either Adolf Hitler or Alex Jones or both. And you're going to jail to the stables. Thank you for sharing your medicine, dancer. Oh. And on the plane. Mm. <gasps> and the only for the record, this this actually happened. Like, it's comedy, so it's supposed to be I exaggerated for you know satirical effect. Except like this literally happened not once but numerous times. So I don't know why the f Ben is like losing his shit over this by being like. You know, this actually never happened, but you know what happens all the time when, uh, you know, uh, uh, airliners uh, tell you that airlines tell you that, like, you need to put your mask back on. Yeah, that happens, too, and it's ridiculous, but, like, this only happens when someone is being violent. The only mandate this Barbie cares about is with her proud boyfriend, Ken. Hi, Ken. Want to go throw eggs at nurses? Sorry, babe. Can't hear you. Alex Jones is talking about monoglobal antibodies. There it is. All righty, stop it right there. That, that, okay, again. Uh, okay. uh, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to take this as seriously as possible. You know what Ben's doing? Ben's doing what like the annoying shit libs in my audience do where like, I'm very clearly memeing or joking about some shit and they go, actually, it's quite disastrous and quite problematic that you didn't recognize that what your joke was, was hurtful. Okay. That's all he's doing, but he's just doing it from the right. So because we are uh, preconditioned and, and uh, biased towards like assuming that uh, only liberals do this shit and shit libs and rad libs do this shit and like right wingers never do this, that, that like people don't recognize that he's doing exactly the same bullshit. Okay. It's annoying when the left does it. It's annoying when the right does it and the right does it just as much as the left does it. Okay. True. Yeah. Make fun of the bully. Just a meme, bro. That makes it okay. I guess. Yeah. Um, my, my, uh, Older subscribers, I think, have been acting out recently, including this one, uh, because they feel like there's a lot of new blood in the community and they want to be uh, seen and heard and be annoying in front of all of our new friends. So don't worry about it. They are going to get banned for a week. Some of them are going to get banned permanently and then it'll get back to the regular, you know. They are engaging in attention-seeking behavior, which I personally consider to be narcissistic and not even remotely empathetic. So, um, you know, not long ago, what they don't realize is like, not long ago, I the 11-month Andes were the ones who were the new blood in the community, and the other 30-month Andes were shitting on uh, them or acting out in an identical capacity. It's just like... Yeah, someone someone in the chat said it's like middle child behavior. They just like want to engage in like attention seeking behavior.
And the only way to do that is, of course, if you can't be funny, uh, the only way to do that in the chat is by uh, being super over the top and annoying about how I have uh, disrespected them and their personal experiences. Good. <laughs> when did monoclonal antibodies become bad? I mean, that, that's, they're, they're, they're bad now, even though Joe Biden has pushed them. Also, no, they said monoglobal antibodies. The joke is that, like, you know, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. I don't think Jimmy Kimmel's comedy team thinks that's a monoclonal antibody is a bad thing. They're making a joke about how, like, you know, it's globalism. Alex Jones, it's whatever. Oh, my God. If you are a let's go Brandon advocate, like you think Joe Biden is doing a bad job, this means that you are an anti I, I wonder why uh, there is no racial diversity among the anti vax Barbies here, considering how many Absolutely. black Americans are not vaxxed at this point in time. Uh, like, I've noticed that it's only the people that Jimmy Kimmel wishes to, to castigate who appear in this. Again, the only reason I'm taking this even remotely seriously is because Jimmy Kimmel is a joke. Jimmy Kimmel is the woke pope of late night comedy who's violated every stricture of wokeness. But it somehow survived because he's a lapdog for the yeah, Democratic Party. Be, I'm chill. Uh, uh, so what's the advocacy here that like, like he's the woke Pope? So first of all, like, are you saying that he should be canceled or something for jokes that he's made in the past that were like bad? Do you consider them to be bad? Do you just want him to do more blackface? Like, is that what it is? I don't understand what this is. Republicans love talking about how much they hate cancel culture in the same exact breath where they are advocating for more cancel culture where they're like hmm really Six fucked months. up so yeah guess what dude really jimmy kimmel happened. is sometimes annoying okay cries all the f time not that funny usually good moments some good moments but like who cares ultimately they're a f comedian they are a late night talk Thank show you, host brother hassan for the best takes all left is look to jimmy kimmel for the newest woke take to own the cons yeah yeah like, what's the argument that he's not Why woke, but he's like leading the woke? Like, he's the woke pope, but he's not actually woke, but he is actually woke. When he added your tweet in one of his segments, yeah, that was kind of fucked up. Suck me, Jimmy Kimmel. On, on a pure humor level, I'm just wondering what makes this funny. Like, it's not subtle. It's not interesting. Up Hillary Clinton. It's, it's just a bunch of. What makes it funny is that Republicans are just, you know, they're funny. Anti vaxxers are inherently funny. And the only time that liberals can ever be funny is if they just take something that a, a, an actually funny person has done, okay, and carbon copy it. Because all that joke did was like lightly exaggerate. If we're gonna do the f comedy analysis thing, which is really annoying and it kills jokes in general, but if we're gonna do that, then that the only reason why that's funny is because conservatives are f funny. Like the shit that they do, the shit they believe is fucking hilarious, okay? That's it. So. That, that joke format is like, take something that's actually funny, conservatives behaving in this like insane way, okay? And then put it in a unique situation like, oh, this is a conservative Barbie doll. 15 months of semen retention. Okay, that's it. But Ben is doing exactly the same annoying f***ing rad lib shit that was like, oh, it's funny to you? It's funny to you that you're making fun of anti-vaxxers? Why is this funny? Huh? Like, swap anti-vaxxer for like that other chatter who was like, it's funny to you? You're making fun of people who are bullied? That's funny to you? Why is that funny to you? Why is the trauma that I have to, you know, why is the emotional baggage I have to live with for the rest of my life? Why is that funny to you? Why are you making a joke about that? It's the exact same back. shit. Asked exact same Zian shit that Ben Shapiro is doing right now. Okay? But just from the right. Greed headlines taken directly from Slate and then plopped into a bar. Become, okay. But I guess we're supposed to pretend that this guy is funny. We'll get to more on this in just one moment. First, using Ask. the internet without ExpressVPN, well, that's like leaving your laptop exposed at the coffee shop table while you run to the restroom. Most of the time, probably fine. But what if one day you come out and there's just some weird guy who's looking at all of your emails or- What? Holy f You ready for this? Who is it? Who is it? Simone Sanders. So Simone- Oh, the rest of this is done. Anti-vax Barbie skit is over. Um, yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to move away from this video before I start. Cause I was relentlessly bullied and there's video of it. We watched our stream chatter is delusional. It doesn't matter. They're going to say, Oh, just cause you were bullied. Doesn't mean that like I wasn't personally bullied worse than you. It's just because you were able to deal with it differently. doesn't change the reality that I was not able to deal with it and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. Shut up. Let me describe it this way. I was thinking about this a lot lately. Okay. And. I realized, like, Did she who spoke a lot of my friends the feel the visceral and sapphic ecstasy she hath instilled within me. No, for our relationship is nothing but illusory and fleeting. 
Did she who spoke French on Asana stream feel the visceral and sapphic ecstasy she hath instilled within me? No, for our relationship is nothing but illusory and fleeting. The velveteen bird song that hath escaped from betwixt her lips will remain. <laughs> Bro, that was like, I mean, dude, that was that was good. That was actually good. That was funny. I'm sorry. That was normally like, look, the rule of thumb is if you get so horny, but you can still type that out. You're allowed to make that. You're allowed to say that. Okay. <laughs> you can't try to one-up trauma. Different things affect everyone differently. Shut up. Shut up. Here's what I'm going to say. Okay. Shut the fuck up and listen to me. My, my words that are coming out of my mouth. Okay. A lot of my friends are very edgy on the internet. A lot of my uh, peers, people that I know and love and appreciate. They regularly, for example, talk about like blue check marks this, blue check marks that. They regularly say shit that... I could very easily assume is about me. But the difference between, for example, you in the chat, constantly thinking I'm talking to you individually and your experiences individually, and someone like myself, is that I recognize that I am not the person that they are talking about. However, a lot of you, unfortunately, some of you at least, but a lot of you that like speak out and chat in this capacity, literally lack like a part of your brain where you can't comprehend that I am not talking directly to you, okay? Even when I regularly tell you I am not talking directly to you or about you, I have no way of knowing what your personal experiences are and how they have impacted you in your life, okay? As a collective group, I love this chat and I love this community. Some of the chatters who are funny, uh, who make a lot of jokes or whatever the fuck, like I recognize their names. I know a little bit about their background information if there's enough back and forth over the course of a, you know, extended period of time. But that does not mean I know everything that goes on even in their lives, okay? And I certainly have no idea who you are, especially if you're in here for like an hour and a half for the first time ever, and that's the first time you suspiciously decide to chime in and say something along the, uh, along the lines of, you are personally speaking to me and my experiences and belittling me. I am not. So please exercise that muscle in your brain that stops you from assuming that I am devaluing your perspective. Okay, please. This was the first and perhaps the last time that I am directly talking to you. You know exactly who you are. Okay, you in the chat that gets the urge to say, Hassan, you are belittling me and attacking my personal experiences. That is not true. I have no capacity to know or understand what you have been through. Okay? There are 41,000 other individuals in here. And they're all wonderful, unique, complex, and problematic in their own ways. Okay? That was actually pretty good. We should like clip that every time someone gets on a really like, this conversation centers me actually kind of attitude in the chat. We can just send them uh, this video. You know what I mean? That way they'll know. Into the 21st century, I'm noticing weakness is being protected instead of taking advantage of and exploited. It's slightly jarring. I like to say that boomers read the entire internet like it's talking to them. Millennials slash zoomers read the entire internet like it's overlooking them. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's not true. There are a lot of millennials slash zoomers who personally think I'm directly talking to them all the time, like into their ear all the time, especially when I say something. And the things that I don't say when I'm saying something is... is actually me dissing them personally son you must be a terrible person because you said x about y and i am y every cringe every cringe lip chatter it's not even like you said x about y it's always you said x about y and i am z and you'd fail to mention z which means you're saying x about z as well and you're attacking z why are you anti-z that's usually how it works it's not it's it's rarely ever like you said x about y and i am y it's always a third thing that they add. It's the, I prefer waffles over pancakes conversation turning into, how dare you say you hate apples? It's like, bitch, this is a waffles and pancakes conversation. Anyway, if you made a general statement about black people, it's still racist and attacks their personal experience that applies to the situation and trauma, what the fuck is on? Like, like that person, I have to, like that, this is for their own good. You know what I mean? Like, it's for their own good. Like better that they just don't speak in this chat anymore. You know what I mean? It's pretty funny though that like 
the person literally did exactly what I was talking about, like in the process of me finishing exactly what is wrong with the way that a lot of people uh, operate on the internet. And it's annoying. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, do you think the government will help us anymore? My work is closed for two weeks. No, don't ask the government for help. It's not going to happen. Hassan with Pokey's hair. No, it looks cool. <laughs> it was. I'm so telling cool. you, it's it. I mean, maybe not that shape. You know. You could add some depth. You I literally. Have more volume I look that. like I'm calling every manager. <laughs> like there is not a manager. There's not a manager in California I will not call with this hair. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>